Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about update operation. So this is also another DML statement. Update operation, as the name indicates, it is used to update the existing records. So for example, let's say we have a couple of invoice records in our system and the status of the invoice records is pending and we wanted to go ahead and update the status of the invoice records to paid status or let's say we wanted to move all the invoice records that are created today to the paid status. So in the previous example of the insert operation what we did is we created new records. Those records were not present earlier in the system. We created the new records using the insert operation. Update operation is used to update a particular field or group of fields or update an existing record in Salesforce. So let's take our example of a business requirement. So let's say our business requirement for the chemical supplier company is that you have whatever the invoices that you have created today and uh, change the status of those invoices to the paid status. So this is our business requirement. So to do this requirement, first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of invoice records. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the invoices. And right now I only have one invoice created and which is for this particular customer and the status of the invoice is pending. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another invoice. And this is also going to be for the same customer. And I'm going to say the amount paid is, let's say, 785. The status of this is unpaid and go ahead and hit the save button. Then I'm going to go ahead and create another invoice here. And uh, this is also going to be for the same customer. And the status of this invoice is, let's say, pending. And the amount paid is, let's say, 800 and hit the save button. So I have three invoices created and uh, these uh, invoices, none of these invoices are in the paid status. All of them is either in the unpaid status or in the pending status, etc. But none of them are in the paid status. So what I wanted to do is let's say these invoices are created today and I wanted to update all the invoices to the paid status if those invoices are not in the paid status. So how I'm going to do it? I'm going to go ahead and use the update operation to do that. So let's go back to our developer console here and uh, go back to our debug, open the execute anonymous window and this will pop up. So what we're going to do, first thing is we're going to go ahead and fetch the invoice records that we created today. So whatever the invoice records are there that we created today. And what we're going to do with them? We will update the status of all those invoice records to paid status if they are not in the paid status. So update the status So what we're going to do first thing is we're going to go ahead and use a query to get all the records. So the query that I'm going to use will be select the ID, the name and the status. So from which table? The invoice table. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch all the records from the Apex invoice table. So I'm going to do it. We're going to go ahead and use the table name. So this is the query. Select ID, name, status, created date from this particular table. And whatever the result would be, I'm going to go ahead and store that result into a list. So the result is also going to be invoice records. So I'm going to go ahead and store all those invoice records in this particular list. So this is the list which contains the records, all the invoice records. Next thing what we want to do is we will go ahead and create a list of the records that we need to update. So create a list to store the records which we need to update. 
So all the records which we need to update, we're going to go ahead and store them in the list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list which is also of the invoice records and the name of the list is updated invoice list. So first thing what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and loop through all of these invoice records and look for the status. And if the status is not paid, then we're going to go ahead and update the status to paid. So we're going to go ahead and loop through. We're going to go ahead and loop through the records of this particular invoice list. This is an enhanced for loop. And we are going to go ahead and check the status of each of the invoice record. So we're going to go ahead and say, And if the status is not equals to paid, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and update the status to be paid. So, and I'm going to go ahead, so this particular if that particular invoice record status is not equals to paid, we're going to go ahead and update the status to the paid. And first thing is, I'm going to go ahead and update that particular record, which I need to be updated. We're going to go ahead and add that record to this particular update list. We're going to go ahead and add that particular record whose status needs to be updated to this particular to this particular list. And then we're going to go ahead and run the update query and we will pass this list. So it will go ahead and do it in one shot. So instead of running three DML statements for all the records which we need to update, it will only run one DML statement and it will update all the records in one shot. This is a best practice and this is also very important we need to keep in mind because you're going to know why is it important when we talk about the governor limit section. But this is an important part. Instead of running three different queries or instead of running multiple queries, what we did is we added all the records which we need to update into this particular update list. And then we are running only one single query to update all those records in one shot. So now we're going to go ahead and use a debug statement. So what we had, let's go back through this example one more time. So first thing what we are doing here is we are retrieving all the invoice records from the Apex invoice table. And then we are storing all the records into this invoice list. Next thing is we have created a list for storing the records which we need to update. So let's say we have 10 invoices and some of those invoices are already in the paid status and some of the invoices are not in paid status. So this particular update invoice list is only going to store those records which are not in the paid status. So what we are doing is we are looping through the records of the invoice list and then we are checking the status of each of the invoice record. If the status of the each of the invoice record is not equals to paid, then what we are doing, we are changing the status or we are updating the status to the paid status. And then what is the next thing? We are adding that particular record to the updated invoice list because we are changing, we are updating that particular record. And once we have looped through all of the items in the invoice table and we have gone through which items needs to be updated and which does not needs to be updated, we have created the updated invoice list. And then we are running this update statement and we are passing this whole list and this particular statement will update all the records which are not in paid status. It will update them to the paid status. And then we are displaying the values of the updated list. So we go ahead and execute this program. There's an error here, line number 12, because we are adding, we haven't added. So this is a method we're going to use. We're going to add that particular object into the updated invoice list. Go ahead and hit the execute button now. So if you go ahead and click on the debug only section, you will see that 
all the records now are changed to the paid status. So this is paid. The second record is also in the paid status. Then you have is the third record. This is also in the paid status. So how many records got updated? Three records got updated. And now the status of them is changed to paid. So whatever the initial status was, the new status is paid. So if you go back to your Salesforce developers account and refresh this page and look at the each of the invoice record, you will see that the status of the invoice has been updated to paid status. Similarly, if you go to this one and you go ahead and click on the next record, that status is also changed to paid. And if you go ahead and look at the third record, the status of this record is also changed to paid. So this is an example of the update operation. Update operation is used when you have an existing record and you want to update that particular record or bunch of records, etc. And one important point to note here is that we have not run this particular, the, the importance of creating this updated invoice list. We could have done the same way. We could have run the update statement inside of this for loop. What will have done is it will go ahead and exceed the governor limits. We will talk about what are governor limits in the upcoming tutorials. But that's a bad practice because that what will happen is every time a record is status is changed, it will run, it will fire a new update operation. It will fire a new DML query. It will fire a new DML query for each of the record. But using this method, what we did it, we created a list of all the records that we need to update. And then we just used one single DML query and we updated all the records in that particular updated invoice list. So this is a very good practice. And keep in mind, we're going to go ahead and deep more into this in the upcoming tutorials. Thank you.